Hello everyone, we are on week number 20 of our CSA shares. We have 24 weeks total, so we still have four more weeks. It is a B week for my half share folks. Um, there's anyone with a half share, you will still have two additional weeks. So there's two more A weeks and two more B weeks. Everyone with a full share, you'll still have four additional weeks. So remember to continue to pick up your shares. Um, and continue to join us here for information about um, what we receive in each share, how to store them, and what things to use them for. One quick announcement, um, a big thank you to all of the individuals that helped out on Saturday at the Farms Regalsville location. Um, they harvested potatoes, so thank you to anyone that was able to join our farmers on Saturday. All right, we are gonna jump right into what's in the share this week. And a lot of it's repeated from last week, but a few new additional items. So um, I'll go over everything. So we'll start off with our tomatoes. We got three to four pounds of beef, beef steak tomatoes. Our tomatoes get stored on the counter, not in the fridge. Um, beef steaks are really good sliced and on sandwiches. Um, just sliced with, I like to sprinkle a little bit of sea salt on. Um, you can make a caprese salad. You can um, roast them and turn them into soup or sauce. And if you have a lot of your tomatoes left from last week, you could um, roast them and freeze. So do, do a double batch of sauce or a double batch of soup and freeze that sauce or soup so you have some for the winter. So on the counter, um, just monitor them. If any of them get spots, you're gonna wanna use them. So I have a few from last week still. I'm gonna wanna use those first and then I'll work on using the ones from this week. So that's our beef steak tomatoes. We also have lots of peppers. So we have our sweet peppers and our cubanelle peppers. Both are stored in the fridge. Um, great raw, great as snacks. You can roast them, you can saute them, um, you could do like sausage and peppers, you can do a stir fry. Um, my boys love them raw, so we do a lot of raw peppers. Um, great in salads. The cubanelle peppers, um, they're also really good stuffed. Either of them are really good stuffed. So some of our sweet peppers are a little tiny, um, they would be good as like an appetizer stuffed. Um, and then our, some of them are a little bit larger and our cubanelles are larger. Um, so they're all stored in the crisper drawer of your fridge. Um, great raw, great cooked, um, sauteed, grilled, you could roast them. Um, really good with like onions and garlic. So those are peppers. We also have our hot peppers, so we could get four hot peppers, bunch of different varieties. Our hot peppers um, are great to add heat to any item. So whether you're making a salsa or even a sauce or a dressing or a marinade, um, this is gonna add heat. So a lot of the heat is held inside in the membranes and the um, seeds. So if you want less heat, take off the stem, slice it in half, um, remove those membranes, remove the seeds, and you'll get less heat. Um, these freeze really well, so if you still have a lot of pep hot peppers, we've been getting four for four each week for a while, they freeze. So you can freeze um, jalapenos whole. You can, um, I like to slice them into rounds and freeze them that way. Um, you can also pickle these. They're really good pickled on top of tacos or on top of like a salad. Um, poblano peppers, they have a great shape for stuffing. Um, so it depends on what variety of peppers you picked, but all get stored in the crisper drawer of the fridge um, and use them in any variety to add heat to our spiciness to a dish. All right, we also have potatoes. So our potatoes, this week we got a quart of potatoes. They get stored in a cool, dry place. We wanna keep potatoes away from onions because they give off moisture, so keep them separate from our onions and our garlic. 
Um, potatoes are really good roasted. They're really good peeled and boiled and mashed. Um, you can do a um, potato cake, like you can shred them and do a, a potato cake. Potatoes are just kind of an easy side. I love just um, cleaning them up, roasting them, and then it's a good starchy side um, for any dish. You can also do potato salad. So we've had dill in the past. If you still, still have some dill, you can throw some dill, fresh dill in a potato salad. Um, so you can boil them and serve them cold as well. They don't have to be served hot. So cool, dry place for the potatoes. We got to pick um, lima beans. This is our second week of picking lima beans. Um, there's, we got to pick a quart. So we do not eat the outside of the lima bean. We eat the inside. So the best way to shuck them is I pull off the string, like the, the little, let's see, the little strand at the top, the stem, peel it down and then spin it one way, spin it the other, and then it will crack, whoops, it will crack open. And when we crack it open, we have the beans on the inside. We wanna remove them. So you remove all the beans from all the pods and that's what you're cooking. Um, it typically takes between 10 to 15 minutes to cook, um, depending on what you're using them for. This week's recipe will showcase our lima beans. So um, for this week's recipe, you will need a full quart of lima beans. I, I guess you could half it if you don't have quite a full quart. Um, but we will shuck them and use them for the recipe that will be posted on Thursday. To store these guys, you can leave them the way they are, covered, so they're already in, I have them stored in a plastic um, Tupperware container. I can put the lid on and throw them in the fridge that way, or I can shuck them and keep them in plastic or um, a plastic Tupperware container or a plastic bag and store them in the fridge that way until I'm ready to cook them. Um, they will last um, at least throughout the week. I just cooked mine from last week. Um, so they are really good just boiled and um, served as a side, or you can add like corn, corn and possibly tomatoes to make like a succotash. So if you have frozen corn, from um, the farm that you froze it all. That would make a really good addition to the lima beans. Um, I posted a, I think five, maybe five different ideas and recipes to use lima beans with since they're new to the farm this year. Um, I have never worked with them prior to last week. So um, I did a lot of research on what to use them for, um, what possible recipes you could use them in, and then um, obviously worked on a recipe for this week to use them in as well. So stored in the fridge, either whole in the pods or removed from the pods and in plastic. Okay, we also got a coconut squash. Um, this was the featured recipe last week. So this has a, um, the squash, when cooked, has notes of vanilla and citrus. It's a really yummy puree. So last week's recipe showcased that puree in um, coconut squash pancakes. So refer to that if you haven't tried those yet. They are amazing. They taste really good. They're like a pumpkin-y pancake. Um, this gets stored in a cool, dry place. So... Um, Best way to cook it is either to slice it in half and cook it just like you would a butternut squash, or um, you can slice it into, so if we slice it in half and then do you see the ridges, you would slice down those ridges and make wedges and you can um, cook it that way, or you can slice the wedges into little chunks and do cubed roasting. So. This typically gets roasted. Um, you could saute it. You could definitely grill it as well. We just tend to shift our focus now that, excuse me, the weather is getting a little bit cooler. We tend to do more roasting than we do grilling. Um, but I bet it's delicious grilled as well. Pairs really well with like a maple syrup or a honey. Um, a little bit of cinnamon. 
There's been a few recipes posted on the blog. Um, I know someone just did a stuffed coconut squash, so refer to that post for more ideas. Um, but cool, dry place for this, and it's absolutely delicious, so enjoy it. Okay, we have a head of lettuce. Our lettuce gets stored in the fridge in a plastic bag. So I like to put my lettuce in the Debbie Meyer green bags. Um, just helps it last longer. The lettuce is really good for salads, obviously, um, and also for um, like burgers, tacos, lettuce wraps. Um, these are, the, um, you can do like a chopped salad, so finely chop the lettuce and use it that way. Um, but easy side, you can do a protein and add the protein to the lettuce, on top of the lettuce, and salad and then you have a full dish great for lunches so if you're packing your lunches or eating lunch at home this is gonna be great for that as well so that's our lettuce stored in a cool dry place we have our fresh baby Hawaiian ginger one of my absolute favorites so this is great for anything ginger related so ginger tea um, stir fries um, anything where you want to add a little bit of extra flavor. Ginger, this is milder than the mature ginger, so it definitely has a little bit of a milder flavor, um, but it's wonderful. It's fantastic. If you enjoyed it last week, you now have a second week of being able to enjoy it. This gets stored in plastic in the fridge or in glass, so either a glass container or a plastic container. When you go to use it, just scrub it down. It does not need to be peeled, so it doesn't have that hard cured skin that needs to be peeled on regular garlic. The stems, you can actually use them in broths and in marinades, um, in dressings. They get fibrous, so it's not something you wanna eat, or I don't like eating it, but it definitely, they definitely have flavor. So you don't need to throw that part out. You can use it to help flavor broths and, and sauces and things. Um, but the ginger itself is wonderful. And there's been a bunch of different, I know there was a soup recipe posted today that called for ginger. Um, so this is just a great flavor addition. We have two sweet onions. Our sweet onions um, are wonderful, just sliced and put on salads. There's a post on um, onion powder and garlic powder. So if you're overwhelmed with onions and garlic and haven't, have a, quite a few that you haven't used, you can preserve them by making that onion and garlic powder. These get stored in a cool, dry place away from the potatoes. So our potatoes give off a little bit of moisture and will make our onions and garlic go bad quicker. So we wanna keep them in two separate locations. Um, these get peeled, they can get sliced and eaten raw, they can get grilled, they can get roasted, they can get sauteed, they can get thrown in a stir fry. So lots of ideas there. We also have garlic. Same basic idea as the onions, we're using it to add flavor to dishes. Um, I always say that garlic is wonderful added to just about everything. I love throwing garlic in my um, marinades, in my salad dressings. Cool dry place for this guy, so I usually put it with the onions or near the onions. Um, it is cured, so it will last. Um, it's meant to be stored if you're not using it right away. All right, we have Swiss chard. So our Swiss chard, it can be eaten raw, but it's typically sauteed um, or cooked. Generally, you can eat the entire Thing. so the stems the stalks and the leaves the stalks are thicker so we want to remove those dice them up put them in our saute pan first usually with like garlic and an onion saute them get them tender and then throw the leaves in at the end and they only need a minute or two to um, cook down Swiss chard is really good with eggs I always say that I feel like, but it really pairs really well with like an egg dish. Um, it's good in quiches and omelets. Um, you can, if you have a lot of it, you can blanch it and freeze it and make green cubes. Um, this gets stored in 
plastic bag in the fridge. So any of our leafy greens, our lettuce, so far our lettuce and our Swiss chard, those are the things you wanna like make a plan for, for using quickly, because they're not gonna last as, longer as, as long as our other items this week. So store that in a Debbie Meyer green bag or in a plastic bag in the fridge. Last two items are new this week or returned. I feel like we've had bok choy before, but earlier in the season, we're now getting our fall bok choy. This gets stored in the fridge in a Debbie Meyer green bag or a plastic bag or like saran wrap. Um, this is great in stir fries. Um, you can just do a stir fry. This would pair really well with like the onions, the garlic and the ginger um, and the bok choy. You could do this itself with a side of protein and that would be a great side dish. The stalks, same thing as the Swiss chard. So they're edible, they um, are thicker though. So we want to remove those stalks, chop up the leaves, keep them separate, chop up the stalks, get them um, in the saute dish or the stir fry dish or the stir fry pan first cook them down, then throw the leaves in. So they're gonna take a little bit longer to cook. So that's our bok choy. Really good in any um, stir fries. And then last but not least is our broccoli rabe. Um, this is a leafy variety of broccoli rabe. So it will be stored in plastic bag or Debbie Meyer green bag in the fridge. This is really good sauteed. Um, you can also, if you wanna take some of the bitterness out, you can blanch it quickly, two to three minutes, um, get it nice and dry after, put it in ice, so, all right, let me start over. So you can take it, chop it up, um, blanch it, remove it from your um, hot water, put it in ice water to stop the cooking of it, and then get it dried off and put it in a saute pan. So that will remove a little bit of the bitterness. It definitely has some bitterness to it, but it's delicious. It's really, really good for you. Tons of vitamins and minerals. So this just gets chopped up and you definitely can eat it raw, but it's typically eat, eaten cooked as a side. Um, and any of these greens can be put in quiches or um, omelets. They can be put in frittatas. They can, um, I was thinking of something else. I can't remember right now. But any of our greens can be added to other things. Um, frittatas and quiches are really easy items um, to add them to. Also like a creamy chicken dish, you can throw um, some of our greens in. And you can mix and match. They have different flavors, but they're all easy to work with. That is it for this week. Um, so take a look at anything posted on our, our Facebook group. Stay tuned for this week's recipe on Thursday. If there's any items that you're not sure how to use, need some more ideas, please let us know. We will help and guide you. And remember your focus initially is to use up what you have left from last week or from two weeks ago if you're a half share member and then focus on this week. And then our first focus for this week will be our leafy greens. So our head lettuce, our bok choy, our Swiss chard, and our broccoli rabe. Focus on using those first and then work through the rest of the items. All right, thanks for joining me.